I'm Roxana, known as Miss A by my students, and I teach elementary school. I became an art teacher because I really feel as though I have a purpose that's more than just teaching them about art. It's being present, being aware, and being a part of their growth. The day my viral photo was taken, I thought absolutely nothing about it. I thought I looked nice. Never thought it was gonna go viral. The response I received from the photo was so overwhelmingly amazing. Then the media turned it into something ugly. Oh, you don't belong in a classroom. People like you shouldn't teach. You should be in nightlife. You should be doing porn. And I was like, oh, wait, these people are serious. They really want me to not have a job. It felt really, really, really bad. Speaking out for the first time in an exclusive interview since that photo went viral, please welcome Roxana to our show. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. I know people have been reaching out to you. Yes, they have. <laughs> um, I first saw it over the summer in a tabloid. Um, I came up in my social mm -hmm. media feed, the teacher, um, that should be expelled, I think, was one of the headlines. It was posted about a year ago. It started going viral long after the well, picture that's was taken. I, that's the point I was making. The picture mm -hmm. was taken. It sat on, you know, mm -hmm. somebody's Facebook page, and then all of a sudden, it's out there for the world to judge mm -hmm. you. How did you first learn that it was being shared everywhere? Um, well, people were tagging me. That's, that's how I saw it. At, the first time that I saw it, I thought, honestly, I thought it was funny. I thought it was comical. You know how people steal your pictures and they create a meme out of it? So I took it that way in the beginning. I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. Ha ha, who would try to get rid of me? That's dumb. But it was funny at first. But it was kind of like tumbleweed. It kept going and going and going and growing into something else. In the beginning, um, when people were tagging me on these things, it was a lot of positive. I'm thinking I'm doing something. As far as like, yeah, I look great. Let me show curvy women how to dress appropriately. So you saw in this school. as body positivity. You're a yes. teacher, you're a professional, you're yes. doing what you love, and this is body positivity. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> then, but then you started to get the vicious comments. Mm hmm It kept tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. And I think that the picture went so viral in the beginning that people, 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 not me, people wanted to keep it going, mm -hmm. to keep getting whatever likes, whatever comments, whatever they were getting on their pages. How is this impacting the life at school? Because um, obviously kids are on social media, their parents are on social media. Mm -hmm. When did it start to become a concern for those around? It, it became a concern when the tabloids turned everything into something ugly versus look at this curvaceous, beautiful teacher, look how she can dress, being turned into she should not be a teacher. She should be a stripper. She should be a bartender. She should be a porn star. Did the principal or school administrators ever come to you? Not in the beginning. Not in the but beginning. But later on, yes, when it turned ugly. What mm -hmm. did your supervisors or the principals say to you? Um, the thing is that the problem with the media is I dress inappropriate. I do not. I wouldn't have the job for as many years as I've had it. I volunteered for seven years at that school before even accepting the teaching position. A lot of people talk the talk, you're volunteering. Mm -hmm. Then you actually become a teacher. Yes. And then it turns into this. Mm -hmm. It's so scary to see that, that the social media and the world can really feed you anything they want to feed you. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I want to pause there, because when we mm -hmm. come back, the parent who took the photo that set off this viral conversation will join us. We'll be right back. I work at my job. What do I look like arguing with people about my physical appearance? It is so scary and mind boggling to me that this is really a thing, you know? And I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought it was so funny. I did. I was like reposting everything and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. this is like a... It's kind of not funny. Today we're talking to people behind some viral videos that are being shared right now, likely on your social media feeds and between friends and family. That was Roxana. She's an art teacher from New Jersey who made headlines after a photo of her went viral and ignited a firestorm of people saying that she should not be in the classroom with children dressed the way she was dressed. Roxana, did the kids, I know they're young, but they all, you know, kind of hear and see things. Did any of the children ever come up to you and ask you about it? Yes. 
What did they ask I you? I have um, two of my girls, two little girls, run to me almost in tears and hugged me. They were like, we thought you were fired. I'm like, sweetie, don't, I, who told you that? They're like, my mom saw it. And I'm like, okay, no, sweetie, I'm right here. Don't worry about it, go, 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 go. Because I don't want to talk about it with my children. And then I have another little boy who comes in every single class and says, Miss A, are you rich yet? And I'm like, no, sweetie, not, <laughs> not yet. Don't work like that. <laughs> soon, <laughs> soon. <laughs> well, I want to bring into the conversation via Skype, Jolie Arndt, she's the parent who took the photo that went viral. Um, Jolie, thank you so much for joining us. Hi. Jolea, um, when you took the picture, why did you take the picture? Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, it, it was just like an innocent thing. It wasn't, you know, to expose or make something bigger than what it was. It was just like, oh, okay, I'm a parent. I'm in the classroom. I see all this good going on. You know, my kids love it here. So it was just one of those things. You posted it because you felt she was doing a good job with the kids. When you learned, no one was seeing the kids in that photo. They saw her and was attacking her. Did you feel bad? Yeah, I'm one of the parents that hopped on and yeah. started, like, defending her good. and snapping mm -hmm. and, you know, doing what I felt like was right, like, for them to, like, not bash her because of her body and, yeah. like, appreciate her because of the good job that she is doing with the kids. Yeah. So, you know, you mentioned, um, Roxanne, that this got attention all over the world. Um, Hip-hop artist Fat Joe, who's coming on our show soon uh, to uh -huh. talk about his memoir, he was one of the people uh -huh. who sent love and support. Here's what he said. Take a look. In New Jersey, they got a sister, school teacher. They trying to fire her because she's too sexy. There's a teacher out there in Jersey that is a special, a special one. I say, let the women be great. So, I mean, all of those pictures can't be scrubbed. It's there forever, as mm -hmm. they say. It lives on the internet forever. How have you been able to move forward? Oh, ugh. So, in the beginning, oh, and I want to say really quick, the photograph that she took is of the entire classroom. Right. It is not only of me. But it has been cropped over and over and over and over again to the point that it's like, oh, she has her bum in this child's face. It is an entire classroom. Mm. So, so how do you move forward now? Uh, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's one. So, <laughs> that's definitely, that's well, definitely I, let me say this. I know one uh, thing you're doing. You're an artist yourself, yes. and you have created an adorable digital coloring yeah. book. It's called <laughs> Little Buddy Meets the Art Teacher. Mm -hmm. So you've turned your pain into something that can heal and teach. Mm -hmm. And so this is your passion, Little Buddy Meets the Art Teacher. Yeah, so I made Little Buddy. Little Buddy is a tool that I use with specifically pre-K, first, and second grade. Little Buddy is, that's Little Buddy with the hoodie. <laughs> so these are the characters that I've been using for years with my children. I had puppets, they, they are lost now. I don't know what happened to my puppets, but I use them with the kids so they can express themselves. And it's something that I use as a tool because art is not only drawing and coloring and cutting and pasting. Art is a tool used for therapy and healing oh, and growth yeah. and fixing. So, I listen. I know that you've been through a lot, and I hope that you continue to heal. No one should be subjected to what you had to endure. And let's face it, it's not going anywhere. But you got a bunch of fans out there yeah, all around the world. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Jolea and Roxana. And you can order Roxana's coloring book online.